Hello voxel heads and welcome. This video will be giving you a brief overview of some of the changes for the latest Vox Edit update. We will have more in-depth videos on these changes coming later, but for now, let's jump in. So we are greeted with a very similar view within the animator with a few changes. Firstly, let's go over to our skeleton and create a control node. Getting into the habit of creating a control node will help you a lot in the future. So let's go over to library. Firstly, right down here now we have a new feature which is delete unattached. This will delete any models in the library panel that are not attached in the skeleton. This can be super helpful for any models that you created that then changed your mind and didn't remove. So let's get in and create a simple block. Hey, so when we open up to create a new model, we actually have two new features in the tool section. So we have a circle tool and we have a sphere tool. And let's just have a little play. So this is the circle tool. So it'll sort of create a cylinder right there. That is very, very good. And then the sphere one will create basically a sphere. There we go. Look, we got we got a cool little ball happening right here. The one thing that you will probably want to be careful of is the amount of faces. Generally speaking, you want to keep your faces below 5,000. You see the faces when you're over in the animator. This is for optimization reasons. So we have our simple box right here. I am just going to add a yellow to show you another cool feature. So we're going to color in yellow. And so our yellow is selected in our palette. And then up here, we'll notice we have in our material a brand new little icon. It is a little bin. So what happens is if you click that, it will delete the, the swatch from the palette. As most of us know, the, our voxels are connected to that, to that color swatch. So if you delete the swatch in the palette, it will delete the voxels over in the model. The other feature that we've got now is let's say we've got our greens and you've also made like a, a red palette or a yellows or something like this. We now have an append. It will take your current palette here and it will add to a existing palette. So we select so we're selecting reds. And so now we have all our greens that were part of it and then all our reds. It will not do any duplicate colors. So if you do have any duplicate colors, it will ignore those duplicates. So let's come out of this. So we've got our little block on our control node. We're going to do create child. Okay, so we have our three blocks. I am just going to position these in just some odd, odd ways. We're gonna go through some of the new features. So right at the top here, we have auto slurp. This will be automatically enabled. So if we want to disable it, what we can do now is if we go to control node, we have all of these little drop down boxes. So we can go to block two and we've got all of these little extra positions. We can now so what you can do is you can rotate on any axis. So you see here, we've got a rotation. We can move it out. We could do a rotation this way and pop that in. They still and rotate this way. So we can have multi-axis rotation happening. You can auto slurp. You can as well pop that back, um, put that back on to enable it to which is really going to open up the way people can do animations, in my opinion. I think this is going to be brilliant. You can also go over to, this is the inspector, and we've got the positions here. So you can actually rotate the positions manually from over here. We also have increased it up to 30 seconds of animation. So 30 seconds of animation, we can now go all the way up there. We do also have filters here as well. So you can filter by name and by color. 
Something else, and I know people have asked this, is we actually, over here in the animator, we can turn off the floor grid. A lot of people are asking, how can we turn off the grid on the floor? Can we do this? So I believe a lot of people are going to be very excited about being able to turn off the grid on the floor. So there is that new feature too. There are a couple of other features, but we're not going in depth in this video. We want to keep it quite short and sweet. The other thing is a few improvements. We have better camera now. You should not be getting stuck inside objects anymore. You should be fine. Another one is if we are in edit mode, we can now press escape. We do still need to click save or not save, but that is now a shortcut. You could just press escape. It would be nice to be able to just do enter, can't do enter. You'll be able to see as well that Long way rotation has been removed because that wasn't working. So this was just a brief overview of the newest features to come. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you are looking forward to get stuck in. Personally for me, my favorites that have been added is the being able to um, disable, disable and enable auto slurp. I think we're going to really, really see some unique animations being created off of this. I really like the append palette, as well as being able to delete anything that's unattached, just because, you know, you want to keep those files as clear from clutter as possible. Those are my favorite new features. Let us know what your favorite new features are, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye.